It's umsum time. <laughs> oh. Can cockroaches live without their heads? Easy peasy. No way. Hmm. What are these? Mini brains called ganglia. Oh, they control basic body movements. And all these holes are spiracles. They help the cockroach to breathe. Whoa! That means it can breathe without a head. But then, what about blood loss? No problemo. Cockroaches have low blood pressure. So slow blood loss. Then how does it die? When it gets super hungry. Or by bacteria or fungal attacks. Topic, light and sound. Oh. Hmm? Why do we see lightning before thunder? Don't go out tonight. A huge storm is coming. <laughs> Look at the weather outside. <laughs> see, there's a huge lightning strike. Hooray! Now, very soon, you're going to hear some thunder. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Don't get scared, it's just thunder. Do you know why you saw the lightning before you heard the thunder? Hmm? I will tell you. Hmm. An interesting fact is that lightning and thunder occur at the exact same time. Then why do we see lightning first? Hmm. This is because a light travels faster than sound. The speed of light is 300 million meters per second, <laughs> while the speed of sound is only 340 meters per second. <laughs> Thus, the light from the lightning travels much faster to our eyes. <laughs> As a result, we first see the lightning, shortly followed by the sound of thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Topic, rain. Huh? Why does rain smell? Maybe it applies a special perfume. Nah, rain is just water and water doesn't have any smell. Yeah, dude! So what's that smell? Huh? The distinctive smell which frequently accompanies the first rain after a dry weather is scientifically called petrichor. It basically comes from plants and bacteria <laughs> called actinomycetes, which live in the soil. Now, during a long dry spell, the plants release oils into the soil to block other seeds from germinating, thus reducing competition for water. Oh. Whereas, the actinomycetes produce a chemical called geosmin. Now, when rain hits the ground, it brings up the oils and geosmin which then mix with air. The combination of this geosmin along with the plant oils form the smell which we receive oh. after the rain. <laughs> what is a stroke? Huh? It is a new style of haircut. No! Through a complex system of arteries, <laughs> our brain gets a continuous supply of oxygen and nutrients oh. with the help of blood. The cells of our brain alone use more than 20% of oxygen in our blood. Hence, if the blood doesn't reach the brain cells, they can begin to die, thus giving us a stroke. The most common stroke mm. is ischemic stroke. Ischemic strokes occur when the arteries supplying blood to the brain get blocked. Like the roads get blocked in a traffic jam, right? Indeed. Due to bad lifestyle choices and stress, oh. fats and cholesterol huh? gradually start building up in the arteries and thus narrow them. Hmm. If this buildup ruptures, a clot may form blocking the complete artery. As a result, the oh. brain cells begin to die due to lack of oxygen and nutrients, thus giving us an ischemic stroke. <laughs> Why do cats purr? To keep their voice melodious. Nah. According to a popular belief, people think that cats purr when they are happy and satisfied. But did you know that cats purr in other situations also? Imagine a cat falls from a height and injures her bone. In such a situation also, the cat starts purring to heal her bones. Purring? To heal the bones? But how is that possible? It is found that exposure to frequencies between 20 Hz and 50 Hz builds bone density and the frequency of a cat's purr falls within the range of 25 Hz to 150 Hz. 
So, it is possible that a cat who has injured her bone might be purring to build bone density and thus promote healing. Whoa, that's awesome, dude! In addition to this, cats also purr when they are stressed or feeling very hungry. Hmm.